Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today guys I will do a general lab reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. So Sagittarius, let's see what's coming your way. And oh my god, it's patience. <laughs> can be advice, can be uh, simply that um, in the near future this is, um, you know, what we exhibit. Sagittarius, a little bit of patience to get what you want. We do have the star, we know it's all about wish fulfillment, we know it. Of course, you can be the star or somebody else uh, working in the public eye, being known by people. Uh, but I kind of feel it's more about to get what we want, we need the seven of pentacles, which is the energy of patience, is the energy of investment, is the energy of how can we expect results if we don't invest in it, right? Uh, patience, time, um, sweat. I would say it's a French expression. I don't know if um, that is one in English, but in French that is one, right? So, and the tower, definitely transformation, healing transformation. When we have the star, we know it's divine guidance. Um, for some of you, it's the guidance to let go and change something from the, you know, from the ground up. Um, it's um, letting go of something letting letting something fall so that we can have the magic we want we do have the magician and the star the magician is in reverse um and because it's combined with the tower maybe we've um have been lying ourselves um that something is going well that we are building strongly and actually the universe is saying go and chase what you want because what you have right now it's nerve-wracking and consuming nine of swords Nine of Swords with a star, right? And you have a desire, um, such studies. It kind of feels like you have a desire and, and just the universe saying you have to let go of something first. Something needs to fall. Um, it takes time. It takes patience. And then we can have the magic we want and the victory we want. Six of Swords. So having something, yes, but after we let go of something, yes, again. So let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time, the most important one. Six of Swords in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, stop fighting, right, Sagittarius? We have re um, repeat conflicts that um, give us internal struggles. Can be with the Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn. But we have six of swords in reverse. We need to. We need calm waters, and yet here we are struggling in tormented waters, and maybe in a connection that is loveless. We do have the two of cups in reverse, right? So we are bonding emotionally with someone, um, and um, and we are disconnecting at the same time, right? Can be them, can be you. Um, and uh, things are more stagnant and difficult, right, than and challenging. So let's see what's going on. Kind of like the universe making a statement, right? We are in a, in a connection with someone where we struggle, we disconnect emotionally because of frustration. Um, we cre create Six of Swords in Reverse is the opposite of Calma Waters, right? So we... Um, we are in this connection where every day, every day there is a reason to fight and, and, and be, um, you know, harsh about or them being harsh with you. Um, seven of Wands in reverse, again, stop fighting, right? <laughs> can be defensiveness, can be, you know, a sense of I, I want to protect myself, can be you, can be them, but it has a sense of five of Wands, seven of Wands, it has a sense of struggle. Um... Um, so such studies in the past, what happened? Page of Wands and the Hierophant. We were so enthusiastic about this commitment, marriage, uh, relationship, living together, starting something that, were, that was uh, pretty solid, right? And we've um, decided, you know, we're done, 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 done. Um, but it started with a lot of excitement, right? It started with a lot of passion, a lot of sensuality and a desire to commit. A desire to make it serious, a desire to have something, you know, solid. Now this person of yours, they have, they came to the table with the Ten of Pentacles upright and the King of Swords in reverse. So they were all about commitment, just like you, kids, legacy, future. But then, you know, King of Swords, they might have walked away. Um, 
but this one has the energy of unfairness, right? So at some point, um, you know, somebody got uh, quite, I don't want to say verbal about, but swords in reverse, we know they cut and they uh, create pain. Um, so I kind of feel either they did it or they felt, um, you know, but nonetheless, the, their motivation was uh, pretty solid and they really believed in, in family and commitment. Then which energy is between the two of you? Distance, no communication, poor communication, instability, and not achieving the goals that you guys um, um, kind of um, decided upon, right? We have a lot of commitment here in the passage. There is the Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. It's really, somebody really believed in this. You believed, they believed. And together, um, you know, there was a strong commitment that became, um, you know, um, High Priestess and Ten of Pentacles in reverse, both knowing that this probably doesn't have a lot of future um, here. And we got into fights and I feel such as that we are fighting right now. So where are we right now? Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the death. Um, it is in reverse Scorpio energy, but it feels like we are not putting a lot of effort. It has this energy where we are not ending it, but we are not putting the effort. We are not dedicated, uh, paying attention um, at this point, right? And, um, and yeah, that's about it. It had, it's, um... You know how it feels um, such nice? It feels like an opportunity to change and transform. And, but we are not seeing it. We are not paying attention, right? We are not diving deep to, to kind of understand what's going on here. And guess what? The more you distance yourself, the more this person becomes loving and committed. We have them in the Six of Cups energy. This is reminiscent about the past, loving and bonding and wanting to bond and Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They want to stay committed to you. And, um, and they remember the good times, actually. They remember the good times and the love and the emotions and, uh, and everything in between. And mutual energy is between the two of you, absolutely unfinished business and um, um, Knight of um, Swords in Reverse, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But again, I feel that this is no communication and unfinished business. I don't... Um, Maybe you are done with them, um, Sagittarius, but still by respect or for some reason we are not fully disconnecting, we are not fully letting go. Um, but there is no doubt that this, this person wants to stay committed. There is a component of money and financial stability to it, I would say, more on their side than yours. Um, but yeah, unfinished business, that is no doubt. And we are not paying attention here. And, it, and I kind of understand. We saw the seven of wands, the five of wands. So we are still in conflict with them, right? And the possible outcome we let go. We let go. Um, such that is. The possible outcome we do have the death, Scorpio energy, and the eight of swords. Um, it has this energy of letting go and peace of mind. It has this energy of finally releasing them mentally, you know. And it, it can happen with the energy of feeling guilty, feeling responsible, especially if you uh, help them financially. Um, it looks like somebody relies on you financially in some way and you have this sense of responsibility and being bound to them because of it. Um, but I kind of feel we are at the, um, you know, at the energy where we slowly let, um, no longer put effort into it. And the outcome of this is like finally peace of mind that comes with an ending. Um, now this person of yours, frustrated, they absolutely wait for you. We do have the strength in reverse, can be Leo energy and the three of wands. Somebody has expectations. Um, definitely not happy. I kind of feel your energy is more overpowering and your, um, you already have that in your mind. You, you know what you need to do. You know you are um, directing yourself towards this. And we have that King of Swords again, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius with the Eight of Wands. So somebody is fully, fully committed to do the right thing and just um, shift the energies towards the future projects, a new life, um, starting something that we are passionate about. 
It is mutual energies, but I feel it's more on your side that we let go of this. We absolutely let go of this. But they, I mean, they love you and wait for you. Six of Cups is the energy of body, mind and soul. It is the energy of soulmates. Um, it's the energy of thinking and longing. And, um, and the Three of Wands waiting some more, right? So yeah, I know. They love and wait for you. So let's ask for some guidance, Sagittarius. I believe you already have the answer. I'm picking up the energy of a Sagittarius who is uh, quite determined. So what do we have? Sexual freedom, Sagittarius. Are you keeping them only for, um, you know, the physical bond? The universe is guiding you to, um, to free yourself from this. We do have reparenting yourself. This is, again, the energy of... Um, unlearning and learning um, patterns of uh, doing life, love, and relationships. Um, it has something to do with the way you saw your parents or someone in your family doing relationships, love, and uh, partnership. And we really need to learn something from it, right? Or unlearn, by the way. We do have manifestation. This is all about new beginnings. This is about manifesting a new life, a new purpose, a new love. Um, starting from scratch, feeling confident that is going to happen, and the silver waterfall. Um, such as you are guided to be transparent about this new life you want, about this new manifestation, about a desire to break free um, sexually from someone, and um, bottom of the deck, ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept uh, support. Yeah. So it's okay to ask for help. Uh, it was a troubling time. It was a troubling time with this person. So that's all right. No shame there, right? In being um, vulnerable. So um, let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow. So we do have surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. We do have peacefulness. Reparenting yourself and peacefulness. And I wonder, you know, um, it has this energy where we might have looked at our parents and they maybe fought all the time or maybe they were peaceful and somebody is guided to look into it. But you have reparent yourself and peacefulness, right? Teach yourself how to be um, at peace, you know, and let go of things and um, accept the flow of energies. And um, I feel like saying dance with it, right? Um, it has something about it has something about the way we do um, relationships, and the universe is asking you to bring peacefulness again. We do have tolerance. Um, such that is we might really in this connection we might be less tolerant um, and um, hey you appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone so you are guided to be um, um, I would say understanding with this person and we have self-esteem I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others so transparency and self-esteem and bottom of the deck, freedom again. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. There is no doubt such that, is that you are asked to break free and that is all about freedom. Um, such that is. It's all about freedom in this reading. And disconnecting from someone that we had such a strong bond, Six of Cups, maybe some of you had kids with this person, but Two of Cups in reverse with the Six of Cups, that was a strong bond. And um, and you were asked a couple of times, three times, to let, um, to let this situation simply um, go, 